This is a simple iron farm that can be built with easy to obtain early game materials. It generates roughly 300 iron per hour, and it's possible to build it from scratch on a brand new world in only 17 minutes. All right, so first off, you're gonna need to find a village. Yeah, village, okay, that was easy. So once you get to the village, you're gonna need three beds. First thing we're gonna make is the is the room to hold the villagers for the farm. So we need three beds for that. You want to find a central location that's hopefully pretty flat so you don't have to move too many blocks around. You want it kind of central to the village so the villagers will pathfind to the... No way. Oh, that's perfect. You, we will need, need lava later, so that lava right there is beautiful. So, you want to s dig a 2 by 3 hole for the beds. Um, you want to stand on the edge, crouch, and then you just dig out as far as you can reach, which I believe is four, four blocks? Four blocks, yep. And then, centered with that right here, dig another hole as far as you can reach, that's for the zombie later. Alright, and then we place out the beds, dig out like that, so that way the zombie will have a line of sight. And now we need some trap doors in order to prevent the zombie from coming through and killing those guys. So I like to go trap door there and then trap door there. And now we need a trap door above there. And then I like to place there so it's easier to get the zombie to pathfind through here and then open it and trap him. So right at the center where the villagers are is where we're going to have the the killing chamber for them. Oh yeah, we can close that back up. I just dug that so I could get out. And then on top of there, that's where you're gonna place the lava for killing the golem. And then you put tra trap doors to keep the lava in place, like that. And also you're gonna want a block some kind of non-burnable block right above the zombie trap door because you don't want that, them to burn during the day. There we go. So that's all ready. Um, so once the first night comes, the, the villagers should pathfind their way in there. And then once night comes, we can also leave a zombie in there. Uh, but now to get the move the lava, we need some iron. You do need a little bit of iron just for a bucket to actually build this farm. So there was a golem around here. There he is. Okay. So you just got to kill this guy. Oh, rats. All right. So for killing an iron golem safely, you want to make sure you pillar up three blocks high. And then you can jump, crit him. Just you don't want to be any lower than three blocks. And also watch out for other edges where he can climb up and hit you. And there we go, we got an iron. Now we need lava. Ah, there we are, perfect. There we go, lava. And now the lava, if you crouch and then right click on the side of the trap door, you have to make sure you're crouching for that, otherwise it won't place. And there you go. So that's, we're gonna have water around here pushing the iron golems to the center where they'll die on the lava. Um, the trap doors will catch fire, but they won't ever burn away. So that's, that is perfectly fine. Um, so now while we're waiting for nightfall to get a zombie, uh, we're gonna start creating the the water streams for pushing them into the center. We're also gonna be blocking this up, but we need one more villager to walk in there, which they should at nighttime. So, um, the spawn radius for Iron Farm is eight blocks away from the center where the villagers are, which is the perfect, which is the exact same distance as flowing water, so we're just gonna cover the entire spawn radius here in water. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I already counted that, that's right up to the edge of that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's right up to that edge. So we can start making, whoops, start making walls here. So now we've got a box that is uh, eight plus, 16, 17, 17 blocks by 17 blocks with this lava block being the perfect center of that cube. Um, so that way we can do water streams pushing everything right to the center where we'll have a hopper here to collect everything. 
plus all the iron golems get pushed into this and die. Um, but now before we place any water for this, um, all of this, these path blocks will reduce the spawn rate of the golem because they can't spawn on it. So we are just gonna get rid of all this, just increase our our chance is every time that a, a golem tries to spawn that it will actually spawn and not fail. There we go. Once night has fallen, um, wait, we're still missing a villager. So you might have to steal a bed just to lure them over. During the night, you can just place beds out and the villager should, yep, he detected it and then he'll come towards the bed. So we can lure another villager over here with that method. Okay, that's close enough. Once you've got the three villagers in there, then you want to place blocks on the second layer down above the beds in kind of a, a U shape, because you want, once they wake up, to all to be in this one block location, because if they can walk anywhere else on top of the bed, then you might get some golems spawning outside of your square here. So you want them all whenever they wake up in this one spot and then they can still access the beds from there. And then over top of that, you just cover that all up. And now we need a zombie. What you preferably want, unless you just want some quick iron if you're gonna stay in the area, is a persistent zombie. So you don't have to worry about them despawning on you. Ow. So. Zombies have a very small chance of being able to pick up items, and if they pick up an item, then they are persistent. Uh, the other method to get a persistent zombie would be to name tag it, but that's a, name tags are a little harder to get early game. Oh, there we go. There's one. All right, we got a persistent zombie. Perfect. We got him. Now you can remove these dirt pillars. Of course, leave that block there so they don't burn during the day. And actually, you want to get rid of the extra zombies down there. Because if you have... If you have too many zombies that could negatively affect things... Up. Yikes, that death was embarrassing. So embarrassing, I forgot to explain why it's important to have only one zombie in the iron farm. See, in order for an iron golem to spawn, you have to have at least three villagers who are panicking, which is easy to do with a zombie. But the other requirement for an iron golem to spawn is the villagers have to have slept in a bed in the past 20 minutes, which is impossible for villagers while they're panicking. But while the zombie is trying to jump through the trap doors, there is a brief moment where his line of sight is blocked. And this brief moment is surprisingly enough time for the villagers to stop panicking and fall asleep for a second. But if you have more than one zombie, some of the zombies won't jump, causing the villagers to forever panic and never sleep. So make sure you only trap one zombie or the farm won't work. So now the last thing we need is um, the water. So there's a specific pattern you have to do for this. So in each corner I place two blocks um, on like the exact same side, kind of like a counterclockwise kind of thing. And then you gotta place the water, fill up all the available spots that are like right next to the edge now with water. This will prevent the water from like merging into an infinite source in the corners and thus the water will stay in the corners and not flood and not completely fill up the entire thing because water merges into infinite sources when there's one space between two source blocks so since we're putting two blocks there that is then two two blocks of distance. So once we place the water like that and remove that, it doesn't merge together. And you can see it's still, this, this runs parallel with this side, but over here, even though it's pushing back kind of away from that, it'll, it's still pushing inwards. So if something's here, it'll get pushed there. 
and still all everything gets pushed towards the middle. So it works. And let's just finish with this. And now we can remove all these blocks. Pick up the iron, because while you're placing all this water, some golems should spawn and get killed. And now with the first iron, perfect, I got five, we can create, we can craft a hopper, which will then auto collect the iron. Make a hopper. And place it right in this space here, right above the villagers. And there we go. Iron will collect in here, poppies will collect in here. If you want it just to collect the iron, you could do that. Or you can add barrels or a chest onto the side of it for a bigger collection system. But it will roughly fill up this hopper entirely with five stacks of iron in about an hour, a little over an hour. 250 to 300 iron per hour. And there we go. Easy as that. And for anyone wondering, does this farm work on Bedrock Edition? No, it does not. The spawn mechanics for Iron Golems is so completely different on Bedrock Edition. To get, make an Iron Farm on Bedrock Edition, you'd have to build something completely different. And that's all, folks. Thanks for watching. If you have any trouble getting the farm working or you have any questions, you can leave a comment. I'll try to help people out there. And since you watched all the way to the end of the video, I have a blooper for you. And return Bonnie back to her dad. And that is, at least to my uh, knowledge, the one time that... What? What is this? Help! No, 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 no. <laughs>